A good piece of roadkill is something fresh and substantial because we want this carcass to last perhaps several days and a mule deer in particular is the type of carcass that provides that. My name is Peter Bloom and I'm a biologist. My main interests are with conservation biology and the preservation of habitat species. A lot of people know me and hire me to capture eagles, condors, uh, turkey vultures and other species. So I need road-killed carcasses. I don't specifically go out looking for road kills. I find them in my travels. When driving, I'm constantly looking to the edge of the road for either uh, out of place objects that don't look right. Maybe like a wing waving as cars are going by. I see road kills as little treasures packaged in various levels of fur and feathers and scales. I feel like I'm taking advantage of a bad situation. I'm salvaging an animal that otherwise might have got flattened into the pavement. There is somewhat of a professional competition that goes on between particularly my group and those that study mountain lions. Mountain lion biologists are just like I am. We're trying to save, some, save a really priceless animal, a priceless species. And we can't do it if we can't trap them and tag them and follow them. So mule deer are a high commodity item. Uh, I'd like to think we're all gentlemen and professional about it. And uh, we share. The only real danger to humans in collecting road kills is simply be careful while you're driving and uh, particularly when you're stopped. Do not stop for an animal that's in the middle of the highway. You don't want to make, of course, roadkill of yourself.